Hey everybody, this is Brutal Moodle, playing some Above in VR. This is a really, really small game. Uh, it's not even a game, it's more of an experience, like a lot of uh, virtual reality type things out there right now. But in this game, Above, you just kind of float around in space, and I think that's all you do. You just kind of observe, check out the world and everything. So, uh, I, I can see right now that there's just all sorts of shit just floating around in my little space cockpit right here and I can interact with them by touching them. The physics don't seem all that great. But you know, this, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, it's, still, it's still kind of fun just to kind of poke things and watch them fly around. Oh, I can poke these things too. Perfect. Just had all sorts of shit flying around in here. Look, everything's floating up there too. And it's protected by bungee cords, very smart. All right, to move in space, use the trackpad. What is that, do, do I have to look out the window? Is this, what's this? I don't know what that is, but maybe I have to look out the window. That doesn't look like the Earth. I assume that's supposed to be the Earth, but... Is that what it says? To move in space, use the trackpad. Was I moving? Because I was, cl I was clicking it. What other buttons are there? Do they... Nothing else does anything else. Okay, it's just... It's just the, the trackpad. All right. All right. And I can't teleport. And the problem with not teleporting is, when I get close to this window, my room scale boundaries appear. I know you guys can't see it, but I can. That is not what the Earth does. There's like a big green blob moving. Shouldn't it be the clouds that are moving that layer? I don't know. I can't even tell if I'm, if I'm moving my spaceship or not. Whoa, how come I got dark all of a sudden? Is it something I do with the trackpad? I, I, I can't tell. Uh, am I supposed to just sit here and watch the white, or the nighttime from out here? <laughs> is this, is this it? Have I seen all there is? Now it's daytime again. You can kind of see like a little reflection of the sun right there. I, I assume that's what that's supposed to be anyway. Anyway, the earth looks super tiny in virtual reality. Like, it looks like the size of maybe a mansion or something like that. Like it doesn't, it's not giving me the feeling of it being an actual earth size. And I don't know why the wind to look through is over here by the edge of my room scale boundaries because all I could see is a bunch of red squares and stuff to warn me to not bump into real life stuff. Uh, I guess I'll try moving a few other things and see if there's anything else I could do in here. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing else, nothing else fancy happening, really. Uh, moving all this stuff out of the way. Yes, yes. I assume I can't interact with this or this. Okay, well, this was a very short-lived experience, I, I think. I think it's nighttime again because I don't really see anything. Yeah, it's just Earth again. It, to move in space, use the trackpad. Yeah, I've been pressing the trackpad, but I don't feel like I'm moving. Oh, look, that's new, sort of. Am I moving myself? I can't tell. What's over here? Whoa. Why is my controller buzzing right there? Can I stick my head out here? Can I, I'll just walk through the wall, why not? At this point, Oh, this turns. I couldn't see because it's so, so dark. Like, how can anyone see? The only way I could see that is when I walk through here. Okay, is this, is this what's turning me? Maybe if I put my hand on here while I look out there, does that do something? I kind of feel like I'm moving a little bit, but it's, it's very subtle and I can't really tell. Did it just quit on me? Did it just quit on me? Really? Problem can be solved, there's no worrying about it. If it can't be solved, worrying will do no good. Well, what's that about? Oh, there's there's more of the game now. Okay. Oxygen, oh, I can barely read that. Oh, look, there's a flying uh, fireball. Well, at least something else happened. So am I, am I flying around in space? Oh, that's right, I, I get to, 
this is like I'm an astronaut and I only have a few minutes to live and I'm seeing like the, the world and everything and all its glory. Well, from out here the world does look a little bit bigger, but it still doesn't look like the size of the world. Maybe it looks like the size of like, I don't know, 20 missions or something. What's that? Is that, is that the sun? Is that a meteor coming towards me? It looks very small, whatever it is. I can't... That's supposed to be the sun on the other side. That was very odd. 76% oxygen. Oh, shit. My thing just exploded. You guys, this is it. I'm gonna die. There's there's so much I wanted to do in life. I, I wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese one last time. Eat that horrible pizza. I wanted to go to the zoo and pet a monkey. I wanted to befriend this monkey. I wanted... I wanted to do so much in my life with Monkey. I'm gonna call him Monkey Joe. I was gonna teach him how to smoke a cigar because monkey smoking cigars are hilarious. Is that the moon? That is very tiny. That is not the size of a moon. That is the size of like a regular house, maybe. Uh, okay, okay, that looks cool a little bit. Um, the clouds are actually on top. Before, like, the grass, the terrain looked like it was on top. But the clouds actually look like they have a little bit of volumetric depth to them. And you can tell the Earth has, like, a little bit of bump mapping. That I know most people probably don't understand that. Uh, but it's what people do when they're modeling 3 stuff to make it look like it's actually bumpy for their textures. Make it more look realistic. Okay, I'm rambling on too much about <laughs> technical technical stuff no one cares about. Except for me and other, other people who are into 3D shit. Uh, is, so there's, like, a reflection right there from the sun, but it's like moving with me. This feels all very un unrealistic. I mean, they tried. Yeah, okay, over there the terrain looked kind of cool because it was extra bumpy. And the moon is flying so fast at me. I don't, I don't think, maybe, is that how fast the moon moves? Maybe it is. No, it, that can't be. Because it's, it's only taken like only taken like a minute for it to completely circle around me and I know uh, I know our moon in real life it doesn't take a minute for me to see it from day to night it takes like a whole day although we might be able to see it I don't know okay so the moon's going bye bye so do I have to sit here through I god it's so hard to see the oxygen 65 percent I don't think much else is gonna happen oh I can't I can move this is what it was telling me okay <laughs> So I can choose to move. There we go. A little interactivity. I was just kind of floating around. The sun's over there. Uh, can I chase the nighttime? Let's go to the top of the world. That sounds like fun. Maybe we can go see Antarctica. The North Pole. That's what we're going to visit. I do like the, the slight glow around the Earth. That looks cool. I just wish the scale of the Earth itself didn't look so small. All right, I'm really bad with geography, so I'm gonna say this is the North Pole because it looks more blue, a little bit. Wait, that looked more blue over there. Over there. Now it's dark, so I can't tell what it is. All right, we hit the North Pole. Is this the the very top of the Earth? What is up with that texture? It's all like super stretched out. I guess we're not allowed to look at that. It's all dark. Well, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here for the full experience. I do wonder what happens if you die, but to be honest, this this experience isn't all, all that impressive. Mainly because the Earth scale is just not very good. And there was that weird thing at the start when I was inside the spaceship, which I had no idea what I was supposed to do. That wasn't cool. But, okay, I'm just gonna kind of let my headset float around, float around out here in space for a little bit. Um, Oh shit! My controller got caught in my headset. There we go. Set this down. Alright! So I can't recommend anyone buying that game unless you really, really want to kind of just feel a little bit like you're floating in space. Um, it is cheap. It's only like three or four bucks or something. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know of any other videos you would like to see me see. See me see? Any other games you'd like to see me play? I always have a hard time saying that. Uh, but thanks for everyone, of course, and I will see all of you in the next video.